All of these eggs weren't laid by a chicken. They're vegan. The global plant-based market could swell to $166 billion in the next decade. While alternative meats and dairy make up the bulk of that, plant-based eggs are a small but growing category. Leading the pack is Eat Just. It spent four years searching for a plant that could make an egg, and it struck gold with the mung bean. It turned out to be this bean that has been in the food system for such a long time that had something inside of it, the protein, that, uh, that makes a, a pretty good tasting egg. Eventually, we want it to taste a whole lot better than an egg. Eventually, we want it to be a lot less costly than an egg. And the long-term goal of the company is for the majority of the world's eggs not to come from chickens and cages and all the land and all the water, but from a bean. That's the work that we, uh, we focus on every day. A growing number of companies are trying to crack the vegan egg market. And Josh says the competition is good. I want more companies, whether they're making eggs from plants or eggs from mushrooms or eggs from anything but chickens to get in because I think it pushes us and I think it helps to expand the market. We're gonna to continue to dominate it. We're gonna to continue to invest in technology, continue to invest in lowering the cost and continue to build really the first global egg brand. Technology leaves a huge opening for other companies because eggs are often used just as an ingredient. So that means that for a company to replace an egg, it doesn't necessarily need to uh, exactly copy an egg. It only needs to copy the job the egg is doing. And that's what the every company is doing. It's created an animal-free egg white replacement using precision fermentation the egg white is being used to create products like these, vegan macaron. We don't use any animals. All of the proteins that we work with are found in online databases. And so our products are 100% vegan and they're also 100% animal protein. They have the same amino acid profile, same nutritional profile. Eggs have hundreds of proteins. We pick and choose the different proteins that are responsible for the foaming properties, the gelation properties, the nutritional properties. And so we have this beautiful opportunity to essentially reimagine what the food of the future can look like. The egg white is like the crown jewel of the culinary world. It is incredibly functional. If we could win over a, a French pastry chef, we could win over the world. Now from egg whites to a whole egg, Yo Egg says it's created the world's first plant-based fried egg and poached egg. An egg is not just a protein, it's a whole experience of eating the runny yolk, the texture of the egg white, and how you like to enjoy your sunny side up, like you dip a piece of uh, uh, bread in the yolk. Consumers still want that experience, and this is what we're doing only with plants. Yo's uh, whole egg fried egg is made out of chickpea and soy protein with uh, carrot juice extract. Innovation is the driving force behind this alternative protein movement as a whole. The egg will always be a traditional egg. It kind of maximizes its ability to improve. And our egg starts today and will only keep on improving uh, generations to come. But the alternative egg market faces some challenges that alt meats don't necessarily face. Vegetarians who are a major consumer of the alt meat foods, vegetarians eat eggs. They're not necessarily looking for an alternative. Of course, animal welfare issues in the egg industry abound, and it is not necessarily any kinder than the beef or chicken industry. There's also the issue that eggs are an entry point into animal protein for so many people. They feel they are reaching a economic position that allows them to buy eggs. They, they want to buy eggs. And also, of course, eggs are really inexpensive compared to other forms of animal protein. But the big question is, how do they taste? I've tried the all eggs in, from several different companies. Overall, I think that they're pretty good. Texturally, it's not there yet. Like it's, it's close, but it's definitely not there.